Welcome back to the Delaware Way, and I'm proud to introduce to the show once again John Kowalko, a Democratic representative in the state of Delaware, a state representative. Uh, there are a lot to talk about. I know we were started off, we were going to talk about gun violence, and I will get to that, but uh, there's a new budget that's out by the outgoing Governor Markell that has caused much controversy. It doesn't, I haven't heard anybody yet who is glowing about this budget. Why did he do it? Uh, I think he did it because uh, he was, uh, his initiatives were defeated the last couple of years. Some of the key initiatives that he wanted to put in the budget, which I think were unfairly placed in the budget. And I think he just feels that, well, here's my last shot at force feeding it to people. The more costs we add to state employees in particular, economically, that takes more money out of the economy because they have less to spend. And those people are working at a pay, a pay grade where most of them are putting their entire paycheck into purchasing and consumer products. But so far you've just talked about the, the, the spending cuts. There, there are also some increases in taxes mm -hmm. as well. As I would imagine you're for the increases in taxes? I'm, I'm for the increase in the corporate franchise tax cap. I've offered that legislation the last seven years. And I've also offered red legislation, which I'm disappointed it's not in the budget, to create two additional uh, tax brackets. And, and to have someone making 60000 a year pay the same percentage for taxes that someone making a half a million dollars a year is paying, I think is, is unfair and misses an opportunity to, to gain necessary revenue. Don't you have to give him some credit for at least trying to do something. There, there is a huge budget problem. And, and, he, and he's not just going after taxes, he's cutting taxes, but he's also cutting spending. Well, I, I would say he's missing a mark on the spending that he should be cutting. We've expanded the Department of Education under the race to the top guys, I guess a couple of years ago. Now our taxpayers have assumed that burden, that economic burden of these new positions that were created, which I haven't proven to be effective in any way, shape, or form as reaching into the classroom or as improving edu public education in the state. Let's get to the gun violence, since that's okay. what you came in for, and we yeah. started, we, we got off on the budget just because it's in the news right now. Uh, you, you've had some town halls, some meetings about, mm -hmm. uh, about gun violence, and what would you like to see? I mean, it does, it does seem like Delaware at least is leading the country when it comes to gun legislation, much because of you. Don't you run into the National Rifle Association and you can't get anything more? Oh, yes, and I, I, I don't know if you, uh, you saw my quote in a paper at the town hall. I said we can no longer afford situations like that happened in Newton where innocent young people, young children are killed and massacred uh, to be uh, prevented or attempted to be prevented because of a group of what I call a lobbying group of paranoids. And they Amazing. are paranoids and they make their members paranoid. They think they're coming for your gun. We had a bill, and this goes directly to the heart of the NRA's influence. It was House Bill 88. It was intended to uh, simply identify people that have become a threat to themselves due to a ment mental problem. And it had all the protections in it. And, they, and I, we insisted during the committee hearings it be crafted so that it would not prevent access or, or someone from uh, legitimately owning a gun, but it would be, they would be classified as persons prohibited as long as they were under the uh, diagnosis of having a mental illness which would cause them to either be harmful to someone else or even to themselves. And uh, uh, we did a heck of a job on the NRA said we're staying out of this, we don't disagree with this, for public consumption. It passed the House 40 to 1. Got over to the Senate, got six votes. Oh, the Sportsman's uh, Association or whatever they are, which is just another name NRA members gravitate to, uh, objected to somebody, the NRA say neutral. And they were, uh, that, that, that is not even plausible. So with that being the case, is there any path forward over the next couple of years for gun legislation in the state? We have to keep trying. I, uh, Representative Mitchell had a bill that I signed on which would have uh, limited capacity uh, a, a gun magazine capacity. And I think it's a very legitimate bill. It also ensures, or not ensures, but it gives a little more safety to, any, to uh, law enforcement. And you're not also. trying to get rid of anybody's guns? No. So Don't want to take you. anybody's gun. Thank you so much for coming in. Representative John Kowalko, always welcome to the show. Uh, when we come back, you're going to meet the new director for the Department of Justice Family Division when the Delaware Way continues.